Thanks so much for joining us here today on the Valley View. I'm Sheila Fordson. It's a small, charming town located about an hour away from the Lehigh Valley. And all this summer, the city of Ambler has great family-friendly events in store for residents and visitors alike. The summer season of fun continues this week in the city of Ambler, located less than an hour from the valley. The community will host its very first restaurant week and arts walk starting today through the 15th. We've got an art in the storefront program where artists feature their works in one of the storefronts we've dedicated just for artists. Uh, and then all day on Saturday, we're welcoming family and, uh, and folks to the street to, uh, to meet with artists that'll be set up uh, along the avenue, but also within some of the retail locations. Over 25 artists are participating in the arts event and about 11 restaurants will offer a fixed price menu during restaurant week. Both initiatives were created by the Ambler Main Street Group. Ambler Main Street is a volunteer organization. Uh, merchants in the borough, in this greater Ambler area, are members and together we help to promote uh, an increase in business, uh, to try to bring, attract new businesses to the area, and also to uh, host and coordinate events in the town. Every community member matters in Ambler, even those with four legs and not just two. Local pooches will get their day too during the Dog Days and Dollar Stroll next month. The merchants this year, uh, we got together and, and planned to have uh, fun events that happen just about every month. So we had a spring fling earlier in the year, uh, we have an annual car show, uh, this is the first that we're doing a restaurant week and an art stroll. Uh, looking ahead to August, we have a dog days, a dog parade on August 6th, um, and that's, that's another event that we're excited about. On the same day, the dog parade uh, will happen at 10 o'clock where the owners and dogs will uh, parade down Butler Avenue. Uh, we'll have prizes and awards for best dressed dog and cutest dog, dog that looks most like their owner. Um, and then followed by, uh, in the afternoon, most of the merchants will offer some kind of fun dollar related activity. So some will have a dollar off a special, others uh, will have uh, you know kid friendly activities, uh, maybe uh, salons, putting feathers in the children's hair, uh, painting uh, nails. Uh, so we're trying to make it a kid-friendly, dollar-related uh, kind of fun event for, for everyone. I asked Gene what he thought was the Ambler appeal. The quaint atmosphere ranked high for him along with the things he says makes the town unique. We've got a Main Street, which is unlike many of the other small towns in the area. Uh, our Main Street, we have a theater and a playhouse that attract great crowds. Uh, we have 11 plus restaurants, we have coffee houses, and you know places to come and have just breakfast and lunch. Um, the stores are open, we've got diverse uh, retail stores here, and it's just a town that folks can walk through and enjoy, and it's a place where in the businesses you know the owner. You're not going to the mall, it's the personal touch where the owner of that business is someone who lives in your community and supports uh, the, many of the things that, that you're interested in. For more information on all Ambler has to offer, from the shops to the food, entertainment, and more, log online to amblermainstreet.org. Ambler is a great place to visit, a great place to bring a friend. Uh, can, there's parking that's very convenient, um, and it's a small enough town that you can walk about and, and sample different kinds of foods and shopping experiences, and uh, you just can't beat the, the friendly atmosphere here in Ambler. In Ambler, for SEC TV's Valley View, I'm Sheila Fortson.